As we head into the NATO summit in Wales this week, the question is, is NATO dead? Ever since the end of the Cold War, policymakers and scholars have been predicting the demise of NATO. But we should remember that we've gone to war over the past 20 years, four times as an alliance and with NATO members. Here are the three most important points to keep in mind as we head to the summit this week. In 2002, the alliance agreed that each member would spend 2% of its GDP on defense at a minimum. Today, of the 28 members, only three uh, meet that mark. If budget trends continue, only the United States will be above that standard. It appears that the alliance is, for lack of resources, running on fumes. As important as the lack of resources is for the alliance, the other major problem is the lack of strategic consensus about the threats that the alliance faces, be it Russia, jihadist forces in the Middle East, or instability in North Africa. And until and unless you have a consensus about those threats, it's very hard to generate the public support to raise the resources necessary to keep the alliance healthy. The NATO summit this week in Wales is an opportunity to revitalize the alliance. The chance to revitalize the alliance, of course, depends upon some leadership from the Obama administration. In 2012, it announced a pivot away from Europe to the Far East. The administration has to come back to the alliance and say how serious they are about European security, because European security matters both to Europe and the United States. NATO simply has been too important in the past and will be in the future to fade into strategic irrelevance.